What if you're in a relationship where you are emotionally abused and you're really clear about that, but you're not yet ready to leave? <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. David Hawkins. I'm the director of the Marriage Recovery Center, where we specialize in narcissistic and emotional abuse. We work with so many men and women, but I want to talk about the women now, who are emotionally abused, but not yet ready to leave. And that's where many of you find yourself. You're not yet ready to leave. So when you get counsel that says, just run, run for the hills, it doesn't land well with you because you're not yet ready to leave. You're sure thinking about it. You're sure planning it, but there doesn't, does not seem to be an easy way to escape it. So we want to give you some ideas on how to extricate yourself from this mess. And it's so difficult, so very, very difficult. And, and we have some understanding of that, only some, only some. But if you're emotionally abused and you're not yet ready to leave, I want you to think about this important truth, I, you, I need to extricate myself from this mess. I've, I've, I've got to get myself out of this. I've got to get to a place where I'm not as reactive. I'm able to really identify when the crazy making begins and what I'm going to do about it, how I'm going to take ownership of my life. Yes, I know, I know it's incredibly difficult when you are being emotionally abused because that that that's a full-time job just to cope with the emotional abuse. And yet I still want, we still want to challenge you to extricate yourself from the mess. And what does that mean? That means understanding what is really happening and identifying what is really happening. And it also means taking ownership for how you are responding or reacting to the crazy making. Because if you're reacting, if you're getting angry and you're arguing and you're trying to talk him out of it or you're trying to convince him, you're trying to change him, you're trying to tell him what he needs to do, how he needs to go to this group, how he needs to participate in that. It's really important that he does this, does that, does this, does that. That, that just keeps you wound up in it. And then you end up acting in ways that are not really consistent with who you want to be. So that's another step to be thinking about who do you want to be? What are your values? How do you want to respond when the crazy making begins? I want you to think about getting your own individual counseling or participating in our Women's Redeemed or Women's Core programs where you're going to be with other women who are trying to figure out how do I act when I'm emotionally abused and yet not yet ready to leave? So again, what am I saying? I'm saying it's important to identify this is where I'm at. I'm emotionally abused and yet not yet ready to leave. I'm saying that I need to extricate myself from this crazy making mess. Extricate myself emotionally, that is, because maybe you're not ready to leave. Maybe you are ready to take a break from him for a day, for an hour, for a week, for a month, whatever you're ready to do, do it. And then identify, really reflect, how am I acting in response to his chaos? His chaos is his chaos, is his chaos, is his chaos. He's responsible for it. Don't hear me saying in one iota, one way that he is this way because of you. He is not. But I want you to choose what are you going to do since you're not yet ready to leave. You can identify the crazy making behavior. You can become very, very clear what your core values are and who you want to be. You can be very clear about whether you need to learn some better self-care skills, whether you need to have better boundaries, whether you need to catch yourself quicker when you start to become argumentative with him and get getting caught in that emotional quicksand. You 
identify these ways that you get caught, you become more mindful, more aware, and you set better boundaries. Does it cure everything? It does not cure everything. But does it set you on the better course, the better track? It, it does. So become mindful, become aware, identify what's happening. Even that will create a little bit of a buffer between you and what is happening. And then you make better choices for caring for yourself and being really clear who you want to be and how you're going to become that person, how you're going to recapture, regain your sense of self. I hope this has been helpful. I know it's not a cure-all. All right, take care.